So let's check in with KRQE News 13 anchor Elizabeth Alvarez, who has the morning's news headlines. Hi, Elizabeth. Go. Good, Good morning, morning, ladies. Good morning to you at home on this Tuesday morning. We start off this morning talking about the state attorney general's office and how it is now investigating whether voter suppression was behind last week's voting debacle in Rio Rancho. You recall thousands of voters waited in line for hours in some heavily Republican areas on election night. Sally Padilla, seen here, the Democratic Sandoval County clerk, claims she did not deliberately cause the problems and that they happened because she says the Secretary of State did not give her all the ballot printers she requested, but the Secretary of State tells us that Padilla did get everything she requested. So now State Attorney General Gary King calls what happened here a near meltdown and is now investigating. And some are now questioning Governor Susana Martinez's actions after she heard about the problems on Election Day. If you'll recall, she rushed over to Rio Rancho, handed out pizza and water to voters who were stuck in those long lines. Now, the issue for some is that the governor had a big stake in a couple of very close legislative races, and now some are wondering if she might have broken any laws. The governor told News 13 her only mission that night was to encourage people to stick it out. We're hungry. We brought pizzas so that we can feed everybody who, so they don't get discouraged and just say, forget it, I'm, I'm leaving. This is just too difficult. For her, it was a, a, a humanitarian effort, um, but it has this perception, this gray area of perceptual problem. UNM political science professor Lona Atkinson says that the governor did not violate the election code since she was not on the ballot and did not tell people how to vote. And speaking of elections, we could soon find out if Albuquerque Mayor R.J. Berry will run for re-election. Now, you won't be able to vote for a mayor until next year, and Mr. Berry hasn't officially said if he'll run again, but you can bet that there are going to be a number of Democrats that are considering a run against him. There is actually talk that former Lieutenant Governor Diane Dennish, State Treasurer James Lewis, and State Senator Tim Keller could run for mayor. The same goes for City Council, uh, Councilor rather, Ken Sanchez and former City Public Director Pete Danilli. Funeral plans are being set for longtime District Judge Bob Schwartz, who died this week. The judge died of pneumonia yesterday less than a week after he broke his leg when he fell over his dog. Judge Schwartz ran for mayor back in 2001, barely losing to Marty Chavez. He was also Governor Bill Richardson's crime czar before Richardson appointed him to the bench four years ago. Judge Bob Schwartz was in his early 60s. The Albuquerque Public School District is ready for its severe winter weather this season. It is showing off a high-tech system that should prevent widespread damage this winter. If you remember what happened back in February 2011, check this out. This is video from what happened. The freezing temperatures then caused pipes, pipes to burst and flooding in the hallways in schools all across the city. Now, the district says it has a maintenance system now that will eventually be installed at all schools with sensors that sound an alarm if there's a problem. It also apparently has cameras that show if halls are flooding. And that wraps it up for your Tuesday morning headlines. Be sure to catch Matt Kristen and myself every weekday morning on KRQE beginning at 4.30 a.m. All right, ladies, going to send it back to you. You look so pretty in that pink. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. Pink <laughs> is always a good color.